Today is International Overdose Awareness Day, and while Oneida County is experiencing a reduction in drug overdoses, there's emerging threats and there's more work to be done. News Channel 2's Kirk Tupai tells us what Oneida County is experiencing. International Overdose Awareness Day is a time to remember those who've lost their lives to overdoses, but it's also time to act. The United County Office Building will be lit in purple to remember those lost to overdoses as the fight to combat drug addiction evolves. A synthetic marijuana or K2 spice has gone up by 312%. Last year, there for a total of last year, there was only 10 cases of synthetic marijuana for overdoses, and this year we're already up to 33. Synthetic marijuana isn't the only threat. Oneida County Health Department Director Dan Gilmore spoke about the next illicit drug to hit the streets. There's another uh, type of uh, drug uh, being detected in decedents at xylazine, which you've all heard about in this room. That's another dangerous drug that's out on the street, and there's xylene, xylazine test kits available, um, not directly from the county, but they're, they, they're available through our partners. Oneida County is launching an anti-stigma campaign, hoping to achieve social change and get people the help they need. There's a number of community partners working to address drug overdoses, and they're constantly working on new ways to fight addiction. One of the tools being used to prevent overdoses is this kiosk at the new Giotto Health Center on Oswego Street. It provides fentanyl strips and Narcan 24 hours a day, seven days a week. When did we think there was going to be a dispensary or um, when did we think we'd see bystanders administering Narcan to total strangers in many cases? Those are the things that, like I said, will be a, a critical equation to, to our success here. The Center for Family Life Recovery is having tremendous success by employing recovering addicts as a source for those who need encouragement and support during recovery. I've made it my mission to be that person that I needed, right? Like we need somebody in our corner. Everybody can tell us like you have to do X, Y, and Z, um, but it doesn't, it doesn't work unless you have somebody there, right? We all need a social support. Like we're stressed out, you go to a family member. It's the same with people in recovery. We just need somebody that has kind of been through it. Tonight at six, you can learn about some of the successes Oneida County is having and the ways the community can participate in International Overdose Awareness Day. In Utica, I'm Kirk Tupai reporting for News Channel 2.